The round trip efficiency of an energy storage system is a term used to describe how much energy you're able to pull out of the system compared to how much energy you put into the system. We use the Greek letter eta to signify this efficiency. And we say that efficiency, eta, is equal to energy out over energy in. As an example, consider a BES, that's a battery energy storage system. That system would consist of a battery and a power converter. In the power converter, we convert direct current to alternating current and then feed it to the power grid itself. Of course, the system can work in the opposite direction and we can take energy from the power grid and charge the battery. For this discussion, I'm going to assume that the observer is out here looking at the power going into and out of the converter. Suppose the battery is completely drained. We're going to charge the battery using energy from the power grid like so. So the energy is going to come into the converter as AC, it's going to be converted to DC and then it's going to charge the battery. And in that process, we could say that we have put one unit of energy in. Sometime later, we might have need of that energy. The battery will send direct current to the converter. The converter will convert it to alternating current, and it will be sent out on the grid. Now, here's the important part. We will not get one unit of energy back. Instead, on a typical system, we might only get 0.8 units of energy back which means the system has an efficiency of 0.8 or we could say it is 80 percent efficient. So you might ask where did that extra 0.2 units of energy go? Well there's this pesky thing called the law of thermodynamics and it turns out that no energy conversion is 100 percent efficient. You heard that right, no energy conversion is 100 percent efficient. And in this particular case we have at least two conversions. In the battery, there's electrical to chemical and chemical to electrical. And in the converter, when we convert AC to DC and DC to AC, again, there will be some losses. By the way, if anyone claims they have a system that's 100% efficient, you should run. Because the next thing they're going to do is they're going to try to sell you a perpetual motion machine. Anyway, an efficiency of 80% is not bad. In fact, if you were to take a pumped hydro system, that's about what you can expect. The best systems out there are going to have an efficiency that's very close to this. Likewise, a lead-acid battery-based storage system would be slightly less than this, and a lithium-ion battery system might be a little bit better. Keep in mind, I'm not talking about the round-trip efficiency of the battery itself. I'm talking about the round-trip efficiency of the battery when connected to the converter. Just an example, if we assumed a 95% efficiency on the converter, and if we assumed the 95% efficiency on the battery, we could just multiply those two together. We would see that the resulting efficiency is about 90%. Before I forget, you might be wondering where that not 0.2 units of energy went. The answer is really simple. As the battery is charging and discharging, there will be heat given off. Likewise, when the converter is running, there will be heat given off. 